Okay, so we have our new twins, Kobe and Candy. We are back in the one baby, 100 baby house. And these are babies 13 and 14. Let me count and make sure that's right. Yes, that is, this is 13 and 14. And so we are working on just getting our toddler all done. What do you have? She mostly needs potty and thinking. So we're going to start there. And her name is Ashley, right? Did I get their names right? Okay, yes. And here is Eva or Ava. I always say it differently every time. And she has a skill already to level four. So she just needs to go to school until she becomes an A student. Let's, she could go out here and work on this. Okay, mom, we have another crying baby. Oh, you're handling her. That's candy, right? All right. And then the only issue mom has is that she's hungry. So we're going to have her get some food. And then I'm going to let her um, call somebody up to invite over. Now, I know we have already taken pictures and aged up the girls, right? Yes, they're young adults. So let's go ahead and move them out. Mom is done writing both of the books for Brooklyn and Brenda, and so we're going to move them over. I couldn't remember the name of it yesterday, and now I can't find it. Here we go. Evergreen Harbor. I said yesterday, but in the last episode, I couldn't remember the name of it, but we're going to move them here to Evergreen Harbor. Harbor. Okay, so we're going to move Brenda and Brooklyn together, and wow, we don't have very much money right now, so we're going to just give them $3,000. That's all we have. But we are going to let them find an apartment that is, that they can afford. We will help them afford an apartment. I think we'll just put them in one of these. Let's see. Nope, somebody lives here already. Oh, and somebody lives here. Okay. Does somebody live in every one of these apartments? Oh my gosh, look at this family. They have three people and a baby and five cats. Wow. Okay. So let's see where a house, this house doesn't have anybody in it. This does, oh, these apartments. Here we go. Does somebody live here? No. And no. Okay. We're going to move them into this apartment. It's at least cheap. The weekly rent is only 500 and the deposit is 750 So, okay. So we're going to move them in to this apartment. Let's see. It uses the reduce and recycle. So it's got constant compostable and recyclable trash so there we go we're going to move them in here furnished apartment and then we're going to remove them from our played household so that they can age up and get married and all that stuff these people are not supposed to be aging and getting married so that we have them available to meet Nyla but sometimes it doesn't work that way. Like I've seen notifications that some of them have gotten married. So anyway, now we're back at our house with mom, Nyla, a child, Eva, toddler, Ashley, and two babies, Cody, Kobe, and Candy. I'm going to say Cody a lot, even though it's Kobe. Okay, wow. And everybody that's left has red hair. Well, look at Nyla's relationship with all of her kids. That is so cool. We're going to have to make a second club for the Stevenson kids. Also, I'm pretty sure their name is spelled with a V and not a PH. Anyway, I've got all the way through Clint and Catherine in this one. So I need Roger. Let's see. Acquaintances. No, not friends either. What about just like my family members? How is this? How come I can't ever add my kids? But it's all these other people that I can add. And then weirdly, she can add her siblings. And neither is Roger. Why is Roger not an option to add? Okay. We'll have to wait till Roger comes to visit. And then we can add him to the club. Okay. Right now, she needs to call. Well, she needs to go to the bathroom. And then she needs to invite a friend over. Who? Here we go. We're going to invite Kaylee over. Because she talked to her one time and got, like, all the way up. Oh, Kaylee is sleeping. It's 4.30 in the morning. Okay, well, whatever. How about we go to sleep then, too? Just because our whole family's up at 4.30 in the morning? 
It goes faster if mom teaches her. So that's what we're going to do. Alright, I know she's not finished, but she really needs to eat before school. After you're done eating, though, little Eva, you can come back here and keep working. Mom, how's it going? Ashley got movement level two? Wait, we're not stacking, are we? Oh my gosh, did I just teach her to stack the blocks? Yes, that's okay, but it's not what I was going for. That's okay. Kaylee should be up now. Let's call her. Oh, wow. Eva's getting so close. Oh, it's time to go to school. Bye, Eva. Have fun at school. No, babe. We can't go do the garden just yet. I mean, her flirty thing is up a lot, but I'm still not getting any options to... Kaylee's headed right back over here for my... To my rocket. No, Kaylee. Get away from the rocket. Communication level three. Ashley's done with the communication. Okay, I need you to come out here and get Kaylee to quit doing that. Oh, she's coming. Okay. No, Nyla, you called her over and now you're going. Wait, where's she going? Okay. Maybe I gotta call somebody else because this is clearly not working. Okay, so we cannot actually do any romantic stuff because she wants to be romantic with no one. But look, Kenneth came by to say hi. And we'll check the mail, and then we'll just have her go to sleep. Okay, she's having a good time talking to Kenneth. Okay, who are we going to call? Maybe we just call over Knox. I don't know anybody. Or Jeb. Wait, let's call Jeb. We kissed Jeb in the last one. I hate that bag on his head, but it's okay. Okay, there's Jeb. Who are you? Dina, Dina Lobo? Oh, I think this is... Like Katrina and Dina and Tina, whatever all their names are that rhyme. I think that's part of that family. Here we go. It is so hot outside, apparently. All right, Kenneth, I'm going to need you to go. Mom's got some business that she's got to... Oh, Kenneth still doesn't have residence keys. I'm sorry. Let me give him the residence keys. And run in here right quick. Okay, it looks like he's leaving. And then I want to call him over. Where is he? Okay, good. He's coming in. I love that I can compliment his appearance. Like, what am I going to say? I like the way you wear that bag on your head. Compliment his outfit. That's hilarious. Wow, she just got level 9 of the charisma skill. Where y'all go? Okay, great. Need some alone time upstairs? That's perfect. No babies are screaming. Pregnancy test. Let's go. He's still wearing the bag on his head. I thought he only wore it with that one outfit. Really? Jeb? I don't even know what Jeb looks like. And I'm going to be pregnant with his child. Hopefully. I know her spotlight is fading. And she's pregnant. Yes! Great. Okay. Let's clean this up. And then you can go to sleep. Okay, we want triplets. There's five of us that live in this house. We can have triplets. Okay, then I'll have four toddlers and I probably, I mean five toddlers at one time and I probably will lose my mind. Oh, nice. B student. Good job, Eva. I think you can do your homework before you need to take a nap. Well, she didn't finish her homework, but she can do it when she's done. Okay, mom has been trying to handle this uh, garden since she woke up today and I've not let her. Okay, what do we need? Movement, potty, and thinking. And she's so close on potty and thinking, so let's work on that. Mom can come handle the garden like she's been trying to do. Oh my gosh, she built my whole freaking rocket. <sighs> also, I forgot to age her up before I got her pregnant. I was actually going to do it before the pregnancy, and I didn't. So, what does that mean? Also, it looks like the twins are going to age up right here, and I'll probably have the new baby right here. So that means I'm going to have like two days to get the toddler stuff done before they age up. So I'm a little bit worried about that. Wow, Kenneth, I thought I gave you keys. Yeah, it says take resident keys back. So why are you standing there, Kenneth? You can come on in. Good job, little girl. Ashley's doing such a great job. I mean, she's sad because she's hot. Okay, hold on. Let's change her clothes then. I mean, I guess I should get a thermostat, thermostat for this place. Also, you've been asleep enough. I need you to be on a semi-regular sleep schedule so you're not up at whatever o'clock in the morning. 
Okay, she's wearing the right outfit, so hopefully she won't be burning up. Nice. Eva finished her project. Great job. Oh, she's so close to getting it. Oh, did she get it? It just went all the way down. Why didn't I get a notification about it? Hold on. Thinking, level three, she got it. Okay, potty and movement, and those are easy. Let's go. Come on, level three potty. Oh, so close. Okay, then she'll have to go potty. Okay, little girl is super tired. Mom, what are you doing? Oh, you're chatting with the baby. You still don't know? How do you not know Lilith? I thought you knew Lilith. It's just because you've been to their house? Because you're good friends with Caleb? Because Caleb's your best friend? Girl, we got to do something about that leg here real quick. Let's run in here and shave. All right, she's going to potty one more time. She's going to slide one more time. There we go, potty level three. Okay, now she's going to come out here and slide one more time, and then it's going to be time to age her up. Finally, the baby girl was like, Mom, I cannot stay awake one second longer. What are you wearing? She's wearing like a business suit of some kind. That's so random. Also, Lilith just hanging out dancing at her house. Girl, did you not get it yet? No, slide. Just climb on it then. Nyla got fitness level three. We need you to get movement level three, baby girl. I feel like by the time she walks in this room, there it is. Okay. Candles help. Mom. Yay. Here we go. Ashley's aging up. She's the last of our single kids. The rest of them are all going to be multiples, we hope. Anyway. Okay, Mom. I need you to add more candles and then you can go to sleep. Ashley, you're growing up inside the house. That's fantastic. Oh, she's a little geek. We're going to do mental then. Okay, I love it. The red hair. Brooklyn sent you a gift. Ezekiel, Nickel, William, Addison, siblings, and your dad all sent you a gift. Great. Get you some leftovers, and then your bed is going to be right here. Let's assign Ashley, and then you can go to sleep. Mom's going to go to sleep. Hopefully the babies will all stay asleep. She got the food out and didn't eat it. I don't understand. It says it's almost Cody and Candy's birthday. I think what I'm going to do is at the very moment of midnight on their birthday, I'm going to age them up to toddlers so that I can get a head start and get as much done as possible before the new babies get here. And our sleepy girl actually needs a shower first and then she can do her homework. Babe, why are you in such a bad way? It seems like every time I tell her to do something, she just stops doing it. I just put a dirty plate in the refrigerator. Okay, at 4 o'clock in the morning, everyone is finally asleep. Okay, is she going to go to school today? No, she doesn't go to school till tomorrow. That stinks. Although, she does need to have four levels in something. Oh my gosh, baby girl. I just don't understand how you're in such a bad way. Who is screaming? Girl. That's her singing in there? It sounds horrible. I thought she was being murdered. <laughs> okay, I need you to get up. You got some stuff to do before school. I cannot believe this. Okay, she's working on her homework, but I also need her to get her skill. We're just going to do motor. Mom, you are pretty hungry. Let's cook something. Because I think today is the day that we can age up the babies. Let's see. No, midnight tonight we can age up the babies. Her birthday just keeps moving because she's pregnant and they don't age when they're pregnant. But I think the moment she gives birth, she's going to age up. I hear a screaming baby, Mom. You're going to have to handle that first. I think it's Cody. Kobe, yes it is. Then you can eat, I promise. I was about to say, where's my toddler? But I don't have one right now. Okay, Eva, let's study hard. You come home with an A today so I can have a teenager in the house, please. Let's see. She studied hard. She went to school playful. She's got her skill up. She's just got to get her little tick. She's not in a great mood as far as happiness goes, but I can't fix that right now. Uh-oh. Mom, you broke the toilet. Or somebody did. Who's calling? 
some other kid threatened Ava and took her lunch money. She's been crying in the office. Listen, if you know all of the older siblings that Ava has, they would, uh, I said find the kid because somebody in our family is going to come after that child stealing her lunch money. Eva is sitting with her class in assembly when the music teacher asks for a volunteer. I know the kid beside her wants to go, and I know if she sends the other kid, they get embarrassed. So we're going to hit take the chance and see what happens. Oh, she got a performance gain. Brittany. Okay, Brittany wants to date somebody. That's fine, because every time I try to call Brittany, it never works. So... Okay, let's harvest all, and then you need to water all of these. How are we doing over here, little girl? She's already done her homework. Nice. She's doing a good job. Uh-oh. I think it's candy this time, Mom. Oh, gardening level six. Great. And then what else? She still needs to water out here some, or did she get them all? Nope. Still needs to water some. Then let's make an arrangement. We haven't made an arrangement today. Let's see. Okay, I remember there was something we made last time that gave her a lot of money, but I don't know what it is. Let's try mermaid scales again. I really liked it, and I feel like it gave her nothing. The spring meringue, Mer the one that I still couldn't pronounce last time. Let's try that. Little girl, you need to go potty and eat, not stand there staring at that bunny rabbit. And then get back out here. What are you at level two motor but you're so close to level three so let's do that okay i've already got the beds for the toddlers in there i mean for the twins ready to go we're not going to put a kid in their room right now because we still have four kid beds in here and i can easily turn this bunk bed into a toddler bunk bed and that'll work just fine level three great all right i think mom needs to write a book since she finished her her plant out here and we decided not to sell it on the table there we go $288 that's what we're gonna make from now on we haven't had an ebook so E is for Eva and this is an ABC book but that also means we are done with oh no, you're not gonna read something else you're gonna write this book school is out oh she's not quite an A student yet but she's getting there I mean, she's got so many of these salvage parts. I think I should try upgrading some stuff. All right, little girl, how are you doing? Your fun is awful. I think we're going to buy you some headphones. We definitely have enough money for that. You can take a quick nap here on the couch, but I don't want her to get too, too much sleep so that she won't sleep tonight. But if you just turn on the headphones while they're doing other things, it doesn't matter. They can even be sleeping. And the headphones make their fun go up and up and up. There's a little trick if you didn't know it. Okay. She needs some leftovers and some socials so she can come chat with mom, I guess. Okay, mom, you've got a screaming baby. I think it's baby Kobe. Let's see. Yes, it is. Kobe and Candy. Okay, I'm trying to tell them apart. Not that it matters because they're going to age up soon. And then we won't have to worry about it. Okay, mom is hungry. I like to have her cook every time she's hungry because then I know that we have plenty of food in the house. Let's see, her fun is coming up and her sleep is slowly coming up. Let's see about you. You're good to go, so get yourself back out here. She can't play on this toddler slide, no, and she can't do anything in here. I'm so mad that people came by and built our whole stinking rocket ship. The whole point was so that Ashley, when she grew up, here she is, could do the rocket skill. Oh, look, Brooklyn's here. Mom is cooking, but Brooklyn, we would like to give you residence keys. All right, give her her keys. Who is walking like this? Fernando Juarez. <laughs> is he an actual vampire or is he just walking like that? That is hilarious. Also, those clothes are the best, too, Fernando. Let's go do a flirty introduction to him. He's pretty cute when he's not walking like that. <laughs> An absolute creep. We're just hanging up on these weird people. I think I just saw Ashley. Whoa. Sorry. Let's see. 
Oh, he's sad? Uh-huh. Oh, are we embarrassed? Yes, we're embarrassed. Why? What did we find out? Oh, she's a teenager. We can't talk to her. Okay, I guess he's married and he rejected our flirting. Okay, that's fine. We can deal with that. I guess I'm kind of just happy we found somebody that actually rejects us instead of just cheating on their spouse. Oh, she doesn't even need to go to the bathroom. She needs to go to sleep. Because I want her wide awake. Oh, she can't sleep. <laughs> Candy screaming. Okay, I want her wide awake at midnight so she can age these kids up. All right, you can come finish the fish tacos. Oh, maybe she did her homework. I can't figure out why I got a notification about her. All right, see, she's been listening to music the whole time, and she's all the way up. She's still super sleepy, but she's done her homework. Let's try some extra credit, and then you can go to sleep. It should be close enough to bedtime at that point. Okay, now you can come in here and chat with your sister. Aw, that's nice. And let's see where you are for level four. Okay, so she doesn't have to do anything else. She just has to get ready for school, too. So she's going to sit and chat. Oh, she's still not even done with her homework, girl. Wait. It says it's done, but over here it says 75%. Huh. That's okay. She can talk to Brooklyn a little bit more and then go to sleep. Hopefully she can get her homework done before she passes out. Come on, girl. We also need to continue writing E is for Eva. No, you don't have to clean that up. I'll do it so I can get us $50. Come on, Mom. Oh, I hear a baby. It's got to be Kobe. All right, Mom. Go handle Kobe. Quick bath. I mean, potty. Clean a little. Then let's get back to it. I hear something playing music. Oh, it's our stereo. Oh, also, I watched the video again to see what I did with this, with this picture. And I'm, there it is. I was going to say, I know it's behind this shower in here. Okay. That was ridiculous. But at least, look, that was Kenneth. At least we have Kenneth back. What happened to Nickel? Why do I, oh, no, that's Kenneth. This is Nickel. Okay, sorry. They're twins. It's okay. I mean, I would like for everybody to be on the same sleep schedule, but it's okay with me if Nyla has to stay up late to get her book written. Oh, oh, oh my gosh, it's 2 o'clock in the morning. No, we're waking up babies. Let's go. I mean, not waking them. We're aging up babies. Oh, I have to go. I see red hair, and he's silly. Can we get one independent baby, please? Okay, hold on. Oh my gosh, I've not painted this room. How did I miss this? Okay, unlock. I'm doing it right now. It's because this whole house is so white. I really need a decorator. Okay, look at Kobe. Oh my gosh, y'all, he looks so much like Clint. Only Clint had blonde hair, but they have that same hairstyle, so it's adorable. Also, he came here wanting to slide. He's like, I'm ready to slide, Mom. All right, Candy, can you be our first independent baby? Please. No, of course. You're fussy. Oh, my goodness. The red hair is strong in this family. Okay. Mom, potty train, Candy, Kobe. I'm just going to have you come in here and do this. Let's go. Girl, do not start crying right now. Mom needs you to potty train. Get up and sit on the potty. Yes, girl. Good job. Okay, oh, let's not pick that up. All right, buddy, I need you to stop. Mom, I need you to potty train Kobe. Okay. She got one potty skill. We're just going to go back and forth, literally, till we get them both to level two or until Mom just is about to pass out. Wow, she still got done before he did? Okay, but she's still only level one. So, Mom, let's do this potty one more time. And then you ask for potty help, too. Okay. Okay, there we go. Candy got potty level two. She's good to go. Candy, what do you need, babe? She's real sleepy and not having any fun. That's fine. You can go to sleep and then play inside there as soon as you wake up. 
All right, little guy. I need you up to level two. Come on, come on. You're so close. Yes. Fantastic. And all you need is some sleep, and then you can talk to this dude. Great. Mom, you need some of everything. But you did a great job potty training these babies. Now I'm not as worried at all. Oh, the girls' school starts. What do we need? You need hygiene. You can get food at school. Um, all you need is food, so come grab something. Maybe you can eat. All right, Mom's like, I'm so hungry. There you go, Mom. Can you eat, please, while you're standing up? Eat the fish taco. Okay, the girls have to go to school? No? Okay, I guess the girls are going to school. Their plates are fine right there. Mom's going to eat and go to sleep. We have no babies in this house. All right, the hardest part literally is the potty training. Once that's done, it's really not so bad because the toddlers... Oh, it's the school spelling bee and Eva's made it to the final round, but this time... Okay, so there's a girl that's trying to tell her how to spell it and clearly she's telling her wrong, so we're going to give it our best shot. Oh, she got it right. Because I know whenever we do it the other way, the girl tells her the wrong answer. Okay, so get the mail. And then she needs to finish writing Ava's book. Oh, I didn't tell the girls. Study hard today, girls. Let's see how it's looking. Oh, yeah, she's getting an A today. And maybe she'll get a B, but that's okay. We'll have a teenager in the house. Anyway, as I was saying about the toddlers, once you get the potty thing done, they're pretty self-sufficient. As long as you can keep food made for them to eat, then it's not a big deal. So we're going to have mom get up and do a few things around here. She's super angry and I'm sure that it's a mood swing from being pregnant. I mean, girl, I feel you. I've been there. But we're just going to cook a bunch of food. Just clean up some stuff. One thing we can't do is hire a maid, which is what I like to do when I'm actually playing and they have enough money. I have them hire a maid because then we just don't have to do these little cleaning things around here. We're making a ton of money also off of just all these people sending us gifts every time somebody ages up. Okay, Miss Thing, get yourself over here. Stop being so mad that you can't possibly finish cooking and cook some food. Okay, this baby is hungry, but you can have some food as soon as mom is done in here. You get to go have some fun in there. Okay. I'm getting a thermostat. I'm so sick of everybody being mad about being hot or cold or whatever. So, do I already own a thermostat and I just haven't? I feel like I got one before, right? Anybody? I don't remember seeing one when I redid this house. So, I'm going to go with no. I didn't get one before. I usually put them by the door anyway so I can find them. Take an angry poop. Maybe that'll make her feel better. That fun went up so fast. Okay, little boy. How are you feeling? You need something to eat, too, huh? Don't worry. Your sisters both left food here. Okay, we're going to start him from the bottoms. I mean, from the top. So he's going to do communication and imagination. She's going to do thinking. And then they'll both... Oh, they're home from school. Guess what? My date with Bryant went well. Okay, thanks. Come on in here and blow out these candles so we can have us a teenager at the house. Wait, what was that? Do you wish you were as happy as I do? No, girl. Okay, Eva, let's go blow these candles out. Okay. There we go. Oh, she's an art lover and a goofball. We're going to put... Hmm. We're going to put actress. Oh, wow. She's so pretty. Girl. Who is her daddy? Oh, Salim. Okay, well, I need you to add some birthday candles, and then, um, I'm still going to see if she can go out here and do anything with this rocket. If she explores space, does that give her anything? We'll see. I, I know I'm asking questions like y'all can just answer me, so we'll just see what happens. Okay, Miss Ashley, how are you from school? Oh, my gosh, I've never seen a kid come home from school being absolutely fine. Oh, that is loud. She just left to go to space. Okay. We'll see what happens. I've never done that before, actually. Or it's been a really long time. Oh. 
Ava sees some unsavory characters approaching fast in her rearview mirror. Uh Uh-oh, those are space pirates, and Ava's about to be shipjacked. They demand a suitcase full of simoleons to let Eva pass, or else. Talk to them or attack. Oh my gosh. I thought it was going to come back and be like, she got a skill in rocket science. Not like she got shot by space pirates. Uh, let's try to talk to them. Okay, my girl is doing her homework. Well, sweet talk failed. Eva speaks her, mind, her most comforting, non-threatening voice and explains to the pirates how very disappointed she'd be if they stranded her in deep space. These pirates didn't get where they were by being empathetic, so they tear the wiring out of her verminticular fusion box. Hmm, it might be a little hard to land the ship without that. Oh my gosh. Is she trying to come home? I didn't know I was going to get my kid killed when I decided this. Oh, what? Oh, um, did I just kill my teenager? Oh, she's alive. Oh my gosh, I have never <laughs> seen that before. Wow, uh, she's gonna have to rebuild it. Hey, it'll get her the rocket, the, the rocket launch. What is the skill called? Rocket science skill that I wanted her to have. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, I left this cake out here. I got super distracted. Okay, you need to go potty. You need to go potty. And then we'll get you some food. Mom, you know you need to be writing a book instead of just sitting at this table looking at an empty plate. All right, he's almost done with his communication. Let's see. This little lady would like to... Why don't you come practice dribbling will that be fun for her eva is burning to death eva why are you wearing those clothes babe okay i'll let you come in and change clothes but you should be smart enough to put on your cold weather i mean hot weather clothes she has chest hair i have to go take that off i don't know why that keeps doing that somebody make a mod so that it stops it is fun for her to practice dribbling nice does she have a B? Can she get extra credit? She still doesn't even have a B yet? Girl, these twins are going to catch up to you. Speaking of these twins, I need you to eat, Kobe, so you can come in here and get level three. Where are you? Oh, Nyla finished it. Great. She needs to go to the bathroom. Sorry, you can't actually talk to mom. Sell to publisher. E is for Eva. Okay, come in here and talk to this thing then. Oh, gosh. I feel like these toddlers are constantly hungry. No, no. No, no. Why are you very playful? Let's go calm down. Calm down, please. And then do your homework. And then you can go to sleep. you scare me, Eva. Okay, I love this baby wearing a robe and a rag on her head. She's like, listen, this is how I roll. <laughs> oh, that's it. Kobe got level three. You're done, Kobe. Now we go... What's next? Imagination. After you go potty. Okay, Miss Girl, you just standing out here playing with that basketball. Did you calm down? Yeah, she's better. Okay, you can quit. Mom, let's start the next book and then you could, don't have to write much of it, but let's start it. Children. There we go. The next book is for Ashley and we've already done A because we had A is for Amelia way back at the beginning. So this one is Animals with Ashley, and it is, of course, a book about animals. All right, when you finish eating, you've still got to do more thinking, so let's get in here and do this. We don't have anybody extra at our house right now. I like it when people come over to visit and they can teach shapes and stuff to the kids. Actually, you know what? Ashley's not doing anything. Oh, Ashley's kind of hungry. Okay, let Ashley eat. And clean up a little bit. And then she can teach you some blocks and get your thinking skill up. Imagination level two. Go ahead, Kobe. You're getting there. He's sleepy. So when he gets to level three, we'll let him go to sleep. Oh, Kobe got level three. Great job. Now you can go to sleep. And then what we will start on. I'm not worried about movement very much. So we'll go... Work on your thinking as well. When you're done sleeping, you need to go potty, though. Okay, so, little Miss Girl. I know she's really sleepy, but she has two siblings. 
this sibling is really tired. So we're going to let Ava go on to sleep. But Ashley can teach her blocks for a little while. We're doing shapes. Teach Candy some shapes. I just want to get her up to level two. Then she can play on her own. There it goes. Done. Okay, Candy, you can go to sleep. Thank you so much, Ashley. And now you can go to sleep. Whoa. Is he the vampire that we sometimes see hanging out at our house? Do we know him? We do not know him. Uh, excuse me, ma'am. I know you're not feeling great. Oh, we do know him. Okay, well, never mind. Let's just ignore him then. I think he's the vampire we talked to. We need to go to sleep anyway. Okay, 11.45 at night. We're all going to bed. Even mom. Okay, night on the town. I don't ever do that or even really know what that is. But I guess we'll figure something out. Get leftovers. Okay, let's see where she is. She has one level in rocket science. No, we can't explore space. Did she finish it already? Oh. Let's try that. Let's see if upgrading it gives her handiness skills or or the other one. All right. He does need to go potty. He's already on the potty. She needs to go potty. And then he can come in here and play. Oh, I've already told him to do that. Okay, great. Candy, on the other hand, needs thinking. She is going to play with shapes. Okay, what about you, little girl? Getting ready for school. You just need something to eat. And you, I'm going to send her alone. Need some fun. Did I buy you headphones? Yes, I did. Let's turn them on before you leave to go to school so that her fun will be up when she gets home. Also, breed frogs one last time. We still don't have the most expensive frogs, but it's okay. These frogs are definitely, they still get us money. Quite a bit of money. Nope. I need you to go to school. Then you can worry with the rest of it. Nyla, are you really that? Oh, no, you're tired. I mean, sad. I was like, are you really that tired again? Come in here and eat, babe. Then you take a shower, and then you can help these babies. Where are you going? He's going all the way around here to get over here. Oh, Ava got rocket science level two. Girl, you have to go to school now, but I'm so glad you did it. Now that I know that upgrading that thing gives you... Rocket science will definitely continue with the upgrades when you get back home. All right, little girl over here, how are you doing? You really need some help, don't you? That just, that level thinking just does not go up very quickly at all. Even over here, like her thinking is going up pretty slowly. His thinking doesn't go up very much. Playing in that. The, the way it goes up the most is watching other people do things. But let's see if it goes up faster if he goes and watches her play with blocks. Oh, Ashley's grabbing her lunch. She sees the new the love letter. She's going to wait and see because it's actually from her friends. We already know this one. Okay, I'm sorry. I love it when she wears this outfit. It's adorable. Caleb. I think Caleb's wife is pregnant as well. Okay, let's see. Okay, that's what's annoying is that he can't watch once he's already watching. Something's broken. I hear it. I hear it moving. Oh, it's in there. We're just going to replace it. Like, I don't even have the... Okay, so he's watching mom, or he was, and she's watching him. Nope, I need you to come back and watch mom again. He got level two of the movement skill walking around. Okay, I need you to watch your brother. This is ridiculous. Watch. And while they're watching, they can't do anything else. So here's what we're going to do. She's so close to level three, and he's so close to level two. So we're going to have him come play in here just a few more times. And we're going to have mom come teach shapes to Candy. And Candy should, that should get her to level three. And then we'll stop and she can eat. But the attention should go up because mom, yeah, her attention's already gone up just from sitting there. Okay, Kobe just reached level two and then she's very close to level three. Oh, Brooklyn's back. And when she and mom are done, she can get some food. There we go, level three. 
That's always the hardest one for me. So I'm like, okay, they're done. Great. I'm going to have these toddlers ready to go before mom even gives birth to the new babies. Okay, Caleb just randomly made a white cake. Just randomly setting the table. It's hilarious. Okay, the kids are eating or done eating. Are you done? You are totally done. So what are you on now? I don't remember. Oh, potty and shapes. And you are on potty and imagination. I totally forgot about the garden. I've been really focused on getting them done and forgot mom needs to get out here and handle all this garden. Oh, evolving too. Oh, she's gone into labor. She's like, uh, can I be done out in this garden? I'm burning up and going into labor. Okay, let's go. And Jeb Harris. There we go. Me, you, and Jeb. Let's go. Okay, why is Raphael freaking out? It's not Raphael's baby. I need somebody to sit down so I can check in. Go in here. Uh-oh, my ghost doctor is going to deliver us again. No, that's the nurse. Are you the check-in person? I do not understand why he is freaking out. Did we have a baby with him at one point? Clearly we did. Check in at the front desk. Oh, grades are up. Ashley's a B student. Exam results. She performed below average. Oh, she's like, I'm going back here to have the baby. There you go. Okay, we want triplets. We want triplets. Even though it's going to stress me out, we want triplets. Okay, it's a boy. You guys gave me quite a few B names, so I'm going to go with that just in case there's more than one. So we're starting with Brandon, and now it's a girl, and you guys have Briar. Oh, man. Okay, fine. Brandon and Briar. Okay, let's go home. Somebody also said Blade and Blaze. That would be cool if I knew it was going to be two boys. Or I guess we could have a girl named Blaze, like a blade and a blaze. Oh my gosh. Do y'all see what this baby girl is wearing? <laughs> this is adorable candy. You could not be cuter right now. Okay. Maybe these two babies will not have red hair and we will finally uh, get rid of some red hair in this house. I was complaining about nobody having red hair. Now they all do. So we have just had babies 15 and 16. We are moving right along, and I know that Nyla is about to age up into an adult, but that doesn't stop anything for right now, and we had another baby, Briar, so even if she didn't get pregnant at all, Briar would be our next matriarch, but for right now, everything is moving along just fine. I really like how things are going. It seems pretty easy right now to handle what we have. Now, I know it's not always going to be like that, but for now it is. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.